Welcome to One Lonely Outpost. This is a game that I uh, donated to through Kickstarter back in 2020, I think. Um, stuff seemed to have happened. I think there's like new people working on the game now, but it has just gone into early access. So I'm very excited to be showing this to you guys. I actually haven't been keeping up with it very much. So uh, this is going to be probably as new to me as it is to most of you, which is exciting. <laughs> New game. All right. Click to apply now. Ooh. This is an interesting style. I have seen little, uh, like screenshots and stuff of it, and I think it has turned out really interesting and kind of unique. Is this our new planet? Yep. Calypso. Communications is poor. Oh, I need to click this. <laughs> and you're like, huh, this is taking a really long time. <laughs> Atmosphere is toxic. Troposphere is stagnant. And ecosphere analyzing. No life forms detected. Perfect. Sounds like a perfect new home to me. Huh, that doesn't seem right, does it? Toxic air. No life. We follow the coordinates precisely. Been on autopilot most of the time. Why would they... Oh. Uh-oh. Something wrong with our cat robot? QWERTY! Not QWERTY. You good? Sorry about that, buddy. Not sure what just happened. A ship malfunction? Radiation? Or electromagnetic waves frying the receiver? Weird, but too little, too late. Look outside. We're here. Whoa. There's some stuff down in the water? These crystals are cool looking. Oh, <laughs> apparently we haven't landed this in a while. <laughs> Oof, that was a rough landing. It's a bit of a rough landing, but at least we're both still intact. Our PC isn't. Oh crap, the terminal's broken. You can't buy supplies until we get it fixed. We'll just have to figure it out later. Uh, anyway, we made it, Cordy. New home. Well, we're here for better, for worst, or the GP, the PGP better pay for any damage the Astro Barge has incurred. Um, here's our new home. Curious beep. We've come a long way, but hopefully it will be worth it. The PGP wouldn't send us all the way out here if it was if it were a complete waste of time, right? Don't answer that. I'm trying to stay hopeful. <laughs> well, whatever happens, at least your tracks will be right next to my footprints. So, let's go and see what the PGP sent us here to do. The one lonely outpost. Alright, so we've got movement. Uh, we've got stuff here. Oh! The control of scheme took a little minute to come up, it seemed. Movement. Z is matter manipulator. Mining laser spray, gust, omni tool OS, scroll hotbar, use omni toolbar, okay, and interact. Interesting. So this looks like maybe a meter of some sort. What does this do? Okay. Is this like for drilling? Ah, your first task. Uh, dear Star Steward, your ship reports a safe landing on Calypso. As a Star Steward, you are tasked with establishing a colony on this new world. Congratulations on your first expedition. Calypso falls under the jurisdiction of the Pan 
Galactic Parliament, the PGP is entitled to shares of profits resulting from all human ventures on the planet. Failure to comply will result in revocation of your title of Star Steward, as outlined in section that thing of your contract under the heading Punitive Measures Continued. We'll provide resources to ensure that the colony on Calypso flourishes. For instance, we are giving you an Omni Omniac. Omniac, yeah. Which gathers information about flora and fauna that you may encounter on the planet. It updates automatically as you interact with the environment. Your first task as Star Steward is to cultivate the land. All colonies need a reliable source of food, research your surroundings, and clear the area of debris in order to begin farming. Ah. The mining laser tool mines resources from rocks and destroys objects. The gust tool clears away mounds of dust and sand, sometimes uncovering lost items. So gust and mine, it looks like. New task. Okay. So this must be the their emblem. Uh, let's see. Earn Omni Stars for archaeology and geology. Looks like my new home is a mess. Best to make some room for myself and learn what I can about this new world. To earn the Omni Stars, I can use the gust and to use and then uh, for the geo then you use the laser. Okay. So, oh. Aha, so it highlights something. So we're gonna go ahead and mine this. Okay, your Omniac collects knowledge in the new world. It fills in as you discover new items and it continues, contains a lot of useful information for surviving on the new planet. Each discovery yields stars which will earn you respect from your peers. Oh, okay. And O to open this up. Thriving and dying. Oof. Okay. So crops. Are we in drought, off season, dusty harvest? Okay, okay. Uh, stuff we mine, fishing, farming or wildlife? Favorite environment region. Okay. Bugs. Not entirely sure what this one. Artifact stuff, I guess. Got our backpack, tasks, mail. Oh, relationships with our colonists. So we have Quarry. We're neut neutral at the moment. Starting out as a Christmas gift, but has become a trusted companion. Ooh, our map. Okay. Uh, the Omniac. Help. And our settings. Okay. I wonder if I can get this to update. Because it feels huge. And I don't know if it's just because of this. But it doesn't seem like when I change this it does anything. So I'm not entirely sure. Because the UI feels massive. <laughs> and I have tried to get it to change this. But we'll see. Okay, so the top bar is the energy for this laser. Now, I haven't seen out here something to gust, so let's switch to V. That also uses the same bar, so it seems like it's just anything that we are uh, using. We need some more things to gust. I like this like 3D but also pixel look. It's, it's quite interesting. Is there a sprint? Not that I'm seeing. Oh, we got some seeds. Nice. All right. We've cleaned up some stuff. Archaeology. So we're still not getting any stars for that. And what's this do? I wonder. Oh, water. Still don't know what this one's doing. I want so badly for these to be like one, uh, two, three, four, but it is not. Dear Stuart, little is known about Glypso. We have updated coordinates to your Omni tool where survey da data is needed. Your Omni tool converts these coordinate points into AR beacons when you are nearby. Go to each coordinate and your Omni tool will collect data about Glypso. Complete the survey tasks to expand your Omni tool world map. Ah, uh, okay. If we look at map, we can't see any beacons. Okay. This must mean it's spring. 
Tier 1. It's negative 4C. These crystals are cool. Ah! Heat ice crystals with your laser tool to refill your spray tool. Interesting. Oh, so they re they come back. So it looks like this is maybe the water. Oh, if you hover. Okay. To till soil. I feel like you have to hover a bit longer than I would expect. Yeah, so this uses this and then melting these guys. Oh. Hello. Uh, this button? Talk. Beep, boop. Or boop, beep. Okay, good to know, good to know. Oh. Ah, this must be one of my beacons. Alright. We'll cut, get a couple more and we'll be able to uh, fill out the map. Oop, found something. Uh, maybe I need to mine, mine it? Ah, the other button to pick it up. So we need two more of those. More seeds. So I got a map marker here. I've been cleaning up any dust I see. Um, just trying to get this guy uh, finished. I don't know if you can find the artifacts under rock or if it has to be under the sand. I don't know what that is. That looks interesting. Oh, maybe this is one. All right, we completed it. Uh, we got the smart locker blueprint. Uh, blueprint detailing how to fabricate a metal smart locker for storage. Perfect. All right. Oh, we got an omni pot blueprint. Okay. Decorative. Nice. So we just need to get another coordinate. Ah, oh, man, these look so cool. I bet we'll be able to remove these at some point and they might lead to new areas or it might not be the case. Oh, here we are. Here's our last coordinate. So it must be kind of cold because this looks like it may be frozen. Ah, interesting. I didn't expect us to be up here. Good to know. We've got our world map. Is there any way to zoom in? No. So we've done our tasks for the day so far. So I'll probably work my way back home and maybe mine some stuff while we do it. You're so tired you can hardly keep your eyes open. Okay, performing activities drains stamina some more than others. The later it gets at night, the more exhausted you'll become. Sleep in your bed to refill your stamina and to begin the next day. Alright, let's finish this guy. Perfect. Let's head into this guy. Alright, so we've got sleeping. Something there. What is this? Interact. The fabricator is an essential item for surviving on a new planet. Use it to craft items. Okay. Ooh. Alright. Packaging. So we have our decorative omnipot. Ah, this must be the thing for storage. So I think we're gonna have to wait to figure out how to make ingots before we can uh, use that guy. Anything else around here? Nope. Alright, let's head to bed. Ooh, pretty. All right, we did some research. We didn't sell anything and there's still just one of us here. Ah, preseason. Day two. We've got a new delivery I need to pick up. Oh, we've got a message. Dear Star Stewart, in order to expand the farm and grow more produce, you will need to produce Purchase farming supplies. These can be bought from your larder terminal to help get you started. We have generously provided you with a delivery pot pad and some basic supplies. You can find these basic supplies on set pad outside your RV. Remember that you can, must continue to expand the farm in order to stay on top of the demand for food in your growing colony. Should you fail to grow enough food, the col colony will shrivel and you will be fired, starved to death, or both depending on the circumstance. P.S. You'll be unable to buy supplies if your larder terminal is broken, but we are confident you treat our property with care. Best regards. Okay. So I think they know it's broken. <laughs> All right, here we are. Interact. We've gotten some se more seeds here. 
uh, select the matter manipulator tool and use it on fertile soil. After tilling, select and use seeds to plant them. When you water your seeds with the spray tool, crops must be watered regularly and be kept dust and pest free to stay healthy. To destroy crops, use the mine tool. Okay. So, no inventory? Yep. So I... Let's get these guys put in. Looks like carrots, potatoes, I had some kind of green. Is it a safe? I have her. Bok choy. I thought it looked kind of like bok choy. So we have a red marker here. So this must not be fertile. Hey, what's that this way? Oh wait, I can't go. Okay, cool. Now this is fertile. Got it. What is this, I wonder? I might need food soon. Interesting, the suit seems to go off. This is like our stamina. So, is it using our energy to function for some reason? Somehow? It does seem to be going down much faster. So, I think it must be because we're. We haven't had food. Alright, let's go to two and get this bok choy planted. Alright, and then I guess we can do two more for this guy. I think it might help my brain if there was like a space between these. To not try to use one to get to this guy. Uh, hey Cordy, can you go ahead and... thanks. I guess I didn't need it anyway. And then we need to water. No, that's... this one's water. Hey Cordy. Aha! Farming really takes it out of you. Gotta keep at it. Yep. Uh, new task available. Balanced meal. Got that water. Let's get these two. Hopefully Cordy's fine being wet. Alright. I brought some nutrient paste with me. It's in Cordy's storage unit. To access, I need to talk to Cordy, then open his storage. To get some energy back, I should go get some of the paste and eat it. To eat food, select on the hot bar, as you would... Ah, select on the hot bar and then click yourself. That actually is a bit odd. Alright, to talk, open chest. Thanks, Cordy. Hopefully you don't need any of that. If you do not eat, you will start the next day tired. Eating food restores stamina and can provide bonus effects. Until you have can harvest crops, you're stuck eating nutrient paste. To eat, select on the hot bar and then hover over the character. So I wonder what we have here. Iron stone, copper, uh, that, and then black box. Despite being old, beaten, and twisted by heat, this is clearly a starship black box. Huh, every human starship must have one by law. Okay, so these are different. Scrap metal. And data log 2. Readable. How do I read it? Maybe if we put it here? Ah! Valerie Clerk. Don't worry, old girl. We're leaving too. Not that we have anywhere to go. Focus in. Release the latches. Unscrew the plates. Back to better times. Used to put starships together. Real good at it too. At least until the PGP interfered. And possible regulations to make themselves look good. Wait, no, 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 no. Not the navigation mod. Plasma beam right there through the sensors and the CPU. Crap. There's no fixing this. Jacobs, you fool. How often did you argue about this? Sometimes pulling the trigger is a kindness. Stranding me here is a death sentence. It's found me again. Need to hide. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and have uh, some food. Oh, okay. Gives us stamina and stuff. We're going to need to melt some of the this guy to fill up our water tank. Nice. I guess at least we don't have to worry about crows eating our crops here. With all there being no life. What if I can mine this bigger rock here? Oh yeah. Doesn't take much longer than the other ones either. I feel like it tells you you're so tired kind of early. Like, I feel like it would be, like, here. Like, maybe here it could say you're starting to feel 
tired and then closer it will say you can barely keep your eyes open. I wonder what all these cubes are. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and sleep. Yes. Let's see, we got some biology things I think because we picked up those star uh, seeds. Oh! We've got an earthquake. Worried beep. I am concerned, little Cordy. Ah! My roadblock has disappeared. That was nice. Looks like we can cross over now. I wonder where it leads. Alright. Uh, Cordy. Dear user, Cordy Bot has set up a relaxation area outside. Enjoy. This is not immediate to my email. Please do not reply. Cute. Thanks, Cordy. Um, so, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Um, if you guys want me to continue with this series, let me know. Um, I'm quite curious to see how this is going to evolve. Imagine eventually we'll be able to pick our character and stuff, but we'll see. If you're interested in the game, it looks like they have some, um, it's like on discounted and there is some bundles. Like you could get it with Traveler's Rest, which I happened to just do a video about. I did not know those were bundled before just now. Uh, and another one is a bundle with Core Keeper. I don't know anything about that game, but that's two different um, games you can bundle it with. If you do get the game, they do have a Discord and they're looking at feedback and stuff, so you can comment there about it. So I was looking at the frequently asked questions on their Discord. Uh, will you be able to romance NPCs? Yes, there'll be eight, maybe more. <laughs> will there be aliens? Some, but aliens are not playable. Cool. Can I customize my character? This is something we definitely want to include, but may, may not be it at uh, early access launch, which we can see it is not, but hopefully we'll have it at uh, 1.0 launch. You should be able to choose between male or female appearances. So it says, what influence will you have over the town and world? You could troll all of when, a little of what, but none of where. Except for on your farm, you control all of the things there. So it doesn't look like we'll be choosing where houses and stuff go. Uh, how will terraforming work? You'll literally bring life to the world. It is a barren world when you land and you're terraforming it by bringing plants, greenery, and trees back to the planet. You won't be able to change the terrain or anything like that. Cool. So yeah, it'll be an interesting game to see how it evolves and all of that. As you can see, I've been looking through stuff for a while now <laughs> as time has gone by. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this look into uh, One Lonely Outpost. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.